find a potential target of MIR3723P in hepatocellular carcinoma, or HCC, presented by Ms. Pitta Pritta, sorry, Patra Prithada. Please give a round of applause. Hello, my name is Pitta Pata Puttada, and today I will be presenting on the topic identifying a potential target for MIR3723P in hepatocellular carcinoma. And HCC remains a global health problem with one of the highest incidence and mortality rates. Several targeted therapies have been developed for HCC, but the result is still far from satisfactory. MIR or microRNA has been illustrated as a putative biomarkers and therapeutic targets for several diseases, including HCC, by regulating at a post-transcriptional level. Our preliminary has shown that by overexpressing the microRNA mir 323 p it can suppress the proliferative rate of the, hep, of the hep G2 cells line, as you can see on this red line. And so from this, we suspected that one of the key players in this finding is the RAC-D proteins, which play the role in mTOR1 protein pathway. So therefore, the aim of this study is to evaluate the interactions between the MIR3723P and the 3 prime UTR of the RAC gene as shown. So for the methods in this study is we first design the primer of the Y type and the mutant type and the 3 prime UTR of the RAC gene, and then we co translate the overexpressed MIR with the 3 prime UTR of the RAC gene into the HEC293 cell line. So there are three conditions. So the first one is the no insert. Uh, and the second one is the Y type, and lastly is the mutant type. Then we perform the Lucifer's assay. So the idea of the Lucifer's assay is that we, when the is to when the three prime UTR bind to the the when the microRNA bind to, to the three prime UTR area, which would inhibit the Lucifer's gene area, so then the Lucifer's activity would be reduced. And then from this, when we measure the bioluminescence level, we then perform our ANOVA test to find the statistical difference, and that the p-value less than 0 0.05 was considered as statistical significant. And from this, is our result shows that the Y type demonstrated a significant decrease in the Lucifer's activity when compared to the control group, as we can see in this star dot here. However, when the mutant type and the control group were compared, there was no significant difference. And a similar result was shown when we compare the Y type and the mutant type. And so from this, we can concluded that the white type of the 3 prime UTR of the RAC D illustrated a significant decrease in the Lucifer's activity when we compare to the no insert. And this is to this is by binding to the RAC D of the 3 prime UTR region. And that this new finding could provide us a new insight to the molecular mechanisms of the HCC cell metabolism which could be a potential target for gene therapy in HCC patients. And for further studies, we could continue this idea by developing a cell line that overexpress the RAC D gene and test the luciferase activity with both the Y type and the mutant type of the MIR3723P so that we can be sure that this interaction is actually happening. And the next step is that we could measure the RAC-D protein and as well as the downstream proteins in the mtoc c one pathway after the overexpression of the MIR3723P. And we could also find the synergistic effects of the MIR3723P when we express it and treat it with chemotherapy in the HCC cells line. And thank you for your attention.
such a stimulating presentation. Any question from our judges? Hi. Uh, what is the, the rationale for uh, using HEC293 cell in this project? So the rationale in here is that because we, the HEC in our, in the lab that I do this study, they claim that the HEC293 HEC cell line is an um, easier cell line for us to do cell culture and to, to perform the study. So that, that's why we go with HEC293 cell line. And also when I consult with my advisor, he stated that if the interaction actually happened in the HEC293 HEC cell line, the same interaction should happen in the HEC-G2 cell line. Uh, why don't you do use you know, uh, the patocarcinoma uh, cell line for the, at the first, because if you would like to study the in, in downstream effectors or other functional study, maybe it, it's uh, just one step. No? Mm -hmm. I I understand um, I understand with 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 your rationale. I think the reason that we go with HEC two nine three cell sign at first is just so that we can can have a broad idea whether this expression will actually whether the RAC D proteins and the microRNA could actually bind to each other, and then on the next step, then we could carry out this into a HEC G two cell sign further. I have another, okay. another question. So uh, what is the rationale of using the RACD gene as a representative gene to study the effect of the microRNA that you pick? So at first we find the, we use bioinformatics to find whether what are the potential targets of the microRNA and RACD was one of the potential proteins that it would find. And then from that, we perform a Kaplan major analysis, whether when in the patients with HCC and the RACD, whether the amount of the RACD protein would be different. And the result shows that the patients with poor prognosis of the HCC have higher level of the RACD gene. So that's why we chose uh, RACD as, a, as our target in this study. All right. Thank you so much.